Hello and what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel My TV Nepal. Guys, I'm extremely sorry I was a bit busy because of that. I couldn't upload any tutorials about 3ds Max and couldn't quick response to your previous comments. In upcoming days, I'll try to solve your problem which you have commented before. Now let's start this tutorial. Before that, I would like to I would like to tell you something about this tutorial. This tutorial is about how to use View Extreme 2016 in 3ds Max. Guys, View Extreme is an animation software which creates realistic environment as well as natural terrains. View is popular for animating the natural environment. Now I'm guiding you how to work with View in 3ds Max. First of all, you have to install the View Extreme in your PC or laptop. If you don't have view software you can either download demo version from its site or buy it while installing it you will be guided to install view plugin to 3ds max so choose whichever 3ds max software you have installed and telling about view extreme 2016 it only support up to 3ds max 2017 like you can use uh, the previous version of 3ds max also for view extreme 2016 but you cannot use View Extreme 2016 in 3ds Max 2018. So that in this tutorial, I'm guiding you how to use View in 2017 uh, in 3ds Max 2017. Now, after opening 3ds Max, here you will see the View Extreme toolbar, and just go to the View Extreme, mm, click to the file and New, and it will open. View Extreme 2016 in your 3ds Max. Okay, after creating a new, then you will see this these thumbnails, or you can say the environments. Uh, these are a scene in which we are creating our animation, our terrain. So uh, here you can choose any any templates. Like uh, you can also create a night scene or day scene, noon, whatever you would, uh, you want. You can choose it from here. And here you can also uh, you can also maximize and minimize uh, these thumbnails also, so that you can clearly view and select what type of scene you would like to use. Okay, uh, I would like to choose this thick cloud template uh, or environment thick cloud environment. I would like to choose that thick cloud environment. And here you will see after choosing that environment or uh, any new object from view for first time, it will guide you uh, that. Extreme will change the 3ds max display setting like view forward grid side etc you can also change it in view for, uh, in in view extreme option dialog also okay now click to the yes button and again it will guide uh, it will give you one another information 3ds max of display option will be restored when the extreme scene is closed or removed from the 3ds max scene okay so click click to the okay now view scene has been created and first of all go to the perspective and change the camera to view main camera and let's let's just render it here you will get some trouble if you are using 3ds max 2017 uh, these this kind of trouble are not in 3ds max 2014 but in 2017 3ds max 2017 here is some render setting problem it's not a big deal you can change it from render setting also and view extreme 2016 or view products use mental ray renderer that means you can only render it in mental ray and uh, also you can use a V-Ray, V-Ray also, but the default skyline uh, render is, doesn't support that view uh, default renderer. So uh, if you don't have V-Ray, then you can use use mental ray by default. So change it from the render setting. I have already changed it. And uh, one more customization you have to do that is uh, go to the render se render setting and click to the exposure control now uh, here is environment and effect uh, dialog box is open will be open and then let's see rendering preview okay in render preview here you you, you can also see white uh, nothing is rendering there so you have to change the exposure controller and here mr photometric you can select it also process background and environment maps should be also 
checked first let's get a mountain okay we have created the mountain now again we are going to uh, exposure control setting environment and effects click to the process background and environment maps uh, again preview render nothing has been changed here so now you have to go to exposure controller and change the exposure controller into no exposure control now just let's preview render here you can see uh, preview render has shown yeah okay you, you can also test in different another different exposure also photo uh, photometric is not showing anything you always always remember to check the process background and from an uh, environment map because uh, I, I want to tell you why we have to choose this uh, select this process background and environment maps because if we need some our new model from 3ds max not besides the model from uh, view and then if you are if you are using so creating or if we are placing some new models in this 3d in this viewport in this scene while rendering if we uh, didn't uh, select that process background and environment map then it won't exactly rendered that means uh, shadows may be lost and some some um, naturalistic looks may be lost but if you check select this process background and environment maps then uh, it will link that uh, object or that model to this scene so that it it can be viewed as as integrated with this uh, max so that it can be more realistic and more appropriate we don't have to use extra lights or extra uh, so that we can match the scene with that object this scene with with that object okay okay go to render here is some error error message from uh, the mental ray that exposure control is not uh, applied to, to your 3ds max scene uh, that's not a big deal it's not a problem so we can change it in in setting also i'm not going to tell you that how to change that setting uh, you can if you if you want it and then i'll make you make another tutorial for this okay after rendering this uh you we, we can see here a very natural mountain or natural scene now we can change our camera and uh, scene type or whatever we whatever uh, camera angle you you want then you can you can change it from here uh, so changing the uh, the camera setting or motions also you can set it motions also So here you can see after rendering this you can see a natural mountain covering with cloud okay this is one of the way to create a natural scenes or scene also and in uh, by using that uh, uh, these kinds of scene the you, our processing or rendering process will be very slow and it will take too much time but you can use it in another way also if you are the user of view probably you may know these settings or these things i'm going to guide you this another way to create the landscape landscape yeah i'm going to reset it reset the 3ds max okay i have reset it now again now i'm not creating new file because i'm creating my own if i create a new file then i have to select select scene from the uh, presets file but I, but now i'm creating my own file you can you can create here you can create water or stone or cloud whatever you would like to uh, create then you can create it from here not by creating the new scene now uh, let's just create water okay i select water 
and this is natural again it is uh, telling me the same thing that uh, the interface is changed so click yes and no here my new scene has been created okay changing camera and let's just render it again again I have exposure control problem so I'm going to change it from uh, in no, no exposure okay here you can see an ocean like a uh, scene okay I'm I'm facing some lighting problem in this 2017 3ds max I'm maybe I have to change my setting light setting okay so you here you can also create or load atmosphere you can also create mountain also you can add terrains so standard terrain terrains I have added I'm going to create an island small island okay uh, I place it a bit in middle of this sea okay let's render it yeah a very nice look we have got here this is the scene I have created not from presets okay so you can also use your camera in, in underwater also okay here I here I move my camera underwater and let's just render it okay we are getting getting the underwater scene very nice so hope you guys you have enjoyed this video uh, if you like it please share it uh, to your friends and share it also and please 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 if you have any comment or any suggestion about this video or any questions about this video please uh, don't hesitate to comment uh, in the comment section below uh, so thanks for watching this, my video bye bye